Hi, Scorpio. It's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. Sorry, I kind of had a weird look, so I wasn't sure if it was recording or not. Uh, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your December uh, 2018 reading. I want to say thanks for all the comments last month and all your support. I can't talk. It's that Mercury. Darn. Okay, hopefully you'll be able to understand my translations <laughs> in this reading. <laughs> um, so, what are the messages for Scorpio? December 2018, Scorpio. December 2018. Scorpio. I'm using the Mythic Tarot um, again this month. Look at that. They're ready. Um, and I'm doing a past, present, future. But uh, this month, I'm accenting them with the regular playing cards. So we got a bit of a combination going on there. I just had lunch a little while ago, and I keep burping. Excuse me. So the first card in your past Scorpio is the five of wands the five of wands is about battling material reality um, you know what you want and what you have to get that are um, two different things you think you know and you're uh, it's about looking at a problem differently looking at it differently you know you can see the the dragon is holding the golden fleece he can see his price it's just almost within reach but getting it out of the dragon's talons is another task altogether and he has support someone you know this girl I think is actually rescuing her too um, but anyway um, you know she's supporting him there and she's She's standing behind him with more resources, and he's not really thinking about those resources, you know, those other wands that he has that he could use to defeat this dragon. And I know I'm talking, you know, kind of deep here, but you have to apply it to your situation. There's some sort of problem that you can't get around. It's, it's you, you know, your goal is in your grasp. You can see it. You can taste it, but you don't have it yet, and you got to figure out another way. You know, it's about using your mind, and I, you know, I want to say something about that. We're kind of living in a world now where people don't, you know, they're not required to work something out. Think about, you know, where how, how is that going to ripple? Um, you know, and, and young people these days to do simple tasks like is just, oh, I can't handle it. So, you know, and we need to do that. Our mind needs that, those challenges. Our mind needs to work things out or it's going to go to mush. You, uh, uh, things are going to seem catastrophic that are just, you know, um, normal things that life may require from us eventually. So you need to work your mind on figuring things out. It's good. It's a good thing. The Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is a message. Um, you know, <laughs> this reminds me of a guy I used to work with. And, you know, I said, does everyone know? And he said, the drums are beating. Yep, they do. The drums are beating. So you're getting a message, um, and uh, you're going to, it's a truth of some sort, you know. Um, and, and it's going to bring the winds of change, you know. It's going to bring, sometimes this is thought of as gossip. You know, things spread that are causing a lot of drama, causing a lot of uh, air, you know, uh, hot air, okay? Hot air is an old-fashioned term uh, for, it's unuseful, 
You know, it's not useful. He's full of hot air, they used to say. Oops. I, that's weird. You know, I do things for a reason. But anyway. Um, the Knight of Wands. So this uh, could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. But this is fast energy. <clears throat> This guy's, um, he's going after his goal, and he's going after full gallop. Not only can he run, he can fly. You know, that's, that's how much energy and how much passion you have about going towards something. And, you know, it, it may be. Maybe this um, this truth you learn, or this this message that comes in, this talk, you, you it, it propels you forward to go after what you want, you know. And that's the fleece, that's the golden fleece, that's the prize, the gold, your achievement that you're after. So this is in your past. So something. And, you know, he's victorious too, right? He's got the fleece right there. He's victorious. He's confident. Um, you know, there's a lot of red and gold in this. Gold is success and red is energy, like fire energy. And, and, um, yeah, and he's going back, you know, he's got the fleece, and he's going to pick it up, and he's going to go back to claim his prize, you know, because he's uh, he's on this whole journey to get this fleece for someone else, but he's been promised a prize, and some of it he's wearing already, he's been knighted, he's wearing gold armor, you know, he's been given Pegasus, the flying horse. So you can see some of the rewards that he's already gotten because he's he's brought back that golden fleece. Um, this card I almost just picked up, and this is the first card in your present. I almost picked it up before that night. I'll tie that in uh, shortly. Okay, so uh, the two of wands. So this is a decision. you got to decide where you're going to go now. Like maybe after this achievement, after this this victory you're like okay well now what am I gonna go conquer what now what dragon am I gonna go fight that was fun <laughs> and I think it really stimulated you you know what I, you had to work things out and you did you were successful you know um, now you're looking for something new you don't know what direction to go and when you consult like see this is Sagittarius in there eh that's the, the, um, they call it the Hierophant, but it's also the Centaur. In, in this um, deck, it's represented as the Centaur. And um, Sagittarius are sought out a lot for their advice, their sound advice, their level advice, and they're always going to tell you the truth, you know. Um, and so he's going for uh, consultation. He's like, I don't know what to do. Like, I... You know, I have choices, um, but I'm just not sure what I should be doing right now, you know. And um, so this is you kind of weighing, weighing your, your options, okay. My hair is driving me cuckoo. I'm not used to having it big. Nine of Pentacles. So this is uh, sometimes re represented as the single card, you decide, and independent, you know. I like to say independent, not relying on someone else's love or effort or um, generosity to get by. You're doing it on your own. You're taking care of business. You're building your own little... Um, bank account and you've you've made a lovely place for yourself you have everything you need really the only thing that's missing is fire in this picture but um, he's content and happy with what he's been able to achieve thus far and um, doesn't really need a partner to uh, to be happy 
he's just happy the way it is. So if someone comes, great. If they don't, well, that's fine too. I, I love, you know, I love my life. So, you know, and in the card before, you're you're wondering, you know, what you know, what should I do? Should I stay? Should I start something new? And this is a card of contentment, you know. Um, and and uh, like I said, individual, in independent, you know, independently successful too. Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords is wanting, kind of wanting to escape run away. This guy is escaping into the night with his truth. You know, he's got all those swords and it's quite a weight. Like that's a lot to carry. And he also has them in a fan, but he's still shouldering them. He's kind of got them ready just in case he has to use them. You know, they're not away in a bag or, you know, on his back. He's he's kind of carrying them. He's also covering his heart. I notice. Wait a minute. No, it's not. It's not covering his heart. There's, um, but you know, there's a, 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 a feeling of this of disappointment, you know, having to defend yourself. This is having to defend yourself. And, you know, you know your truth, and, and you're taking it with you. You know it. And you may have to defend yourself in some way and not feeling like you want to. You know, I don't have to defend myself. I didn't do anything here. I know what happened. I know what went in town, but it wasn't me. So, um, and not really willing to throw anyone else under the bus, too. Um... Also, beside him where he's walking, you know, on all these rocks, there's columns that are broken. And columns are support, right? Like, so all your support is gone. You don't feel like you have any support in this situation, you know? The support that was there isn't anymore. And, and so I can kind of understand why you're f standing here and saying, you know, I'll just do it myself. I'll just do it on my own. Um, I'm happier that way, you know, um, and I can. I can do it on my own. The Knight of Pentacles in your future's first card. And the Knight of Pentacles is now decided where he wants to go. You know, he comes under this two of wands. So wondering, okay, what am I going to do now? He knows exactly where he's going. He knows what he has to invest and he what he wants to nurture there. You know, he was living a, a life, a humdrum life in a way, um, taking care of these bee boxes. But he, he longs for... Um, he, he's more ambitious now, this night. More ambitious. And he wants to nurture something. And, you know, I'm wondering if that's what you want to nurture. You know, you're thinking, I, I, I've had some great adventures and I've, I've, I have recognition. I know who I am now. I know who I am now. I would like to go somewhere so that I can nurture that. Build that spot. Oops! Build that little oasis, that spot for myself. He he's dreaming about it, you know. But um, the this guy is a more purposeful, slow mover. He's not in a gallop, you know. He's not there. You've slowed right down, you know. And some of that, this might be the cause of that slowed you right down. You're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, and especially after you went and did all this, you know, I went there, 
I risked my life, my name, my whatever, took all the risks and brought back this great reward and yes, or great prize. And yes, I got my reward, but now you're accusing me, bad mouthing me, whatever, you know, not supporting me. So you're like, what? Nah. Nope. No, thank you. I've got greener pastures. I've got greener pastures to go to. So knights always achieve their goal. Um, but this guy does very purposefully. Very purposely. He, um, he watches where he steps, you know. He's, he is not in a mad dash. And he's careful about his spot he's going to pick. You know, I, like I said, he... You know, he watch where he steps. He's careful about the spot he's going to put. He, he knows what he's looking for now. What he wants to grow, build, nurture. That's nice. Strength. So, containing the beast within. Um, and this is about surrender and trust, too. You know, uh, Hercules is trying to tame the beast. There's a sword lying there. He could just stab it and kill it and I'd be done with it. But that's rage. That's violence. He just wants to subdue it so the thing doesn't eat him or kill him. You know, it's like, whoa, boy, whoa. And you may have to do that to yourself. You know, I don't have to go in there and fight a big fight. I... Um, you don't have to, you don't have to fight with people, you know, um, uh, gentle persuasion and trust, um, because there may be some anger or something about this situation in the past. I'm wondering about this gossip, what people are saying. Remember I said the drums are beating? I think it bothers you a lot. And there's part of you that wants to go in there and just blast them and give them a piece of your mind. You know? Um, uh, but this, it, we don't need to react to how people are acting. That's what they're, they're doing, how they're behaving. And it, it isn't necessarily a reflection of us at all. Um, you can contain this, or not contain it. You can um, handle this with uh, properly. I, I want to use the word properly. You can handle it properly with tact, with... Um, With, you know, that whoa boy. Like, hey, hold it just a second here. <laughs> You're barking up the wrong tree, you know. Uh, you can go get mad somewhere else. It's, you know, it's not me kind of thing. You're going to handle it differently. You're not going to explode or... Pull your sword out and, you know, you're not doing that. You're like, back off. Back off. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's about being, like, caught in the middle of something here. I don't even think it's your war. These two, you're caught in the middle of two other people at odds, you know? And... Like sometimes, and you know, don't take me the wrong way. It's it's the card. <laughs> but sometimes this card asks, like, you know, I can remember, um, I can remember, like being at someone's house and they were saying, "Oh, so and so really offended me, and that hurt my feelings," and yada yada yada. And so I thought, oh, well, I'm going to fix this 
So I went to so-and-so's house and I said, oh, so-and-so's feelings were really hurt. Like, you guys should talk. I'd hate for you not to, to have this, you know, thing in the middle. And here I thought I was doing something good, but I was meddling in and taking away their power to fix it. You know, they don't have to talk about if I'm running back and forth delivering these messages of, well, now she says, like, you know, da da da. Oh, well, he says if you do that, then. <laughs> and you get caught in the middle and soon get the blame. You know, you're carrying all the. The um, the anxiety and the and the the whole thing of it, and um, you don't want that. So the lesson in here is: do not step into let other people solve their own issues. If you've got something to sh say to Joe, I guess you better go to Joe's place and say it. Like I'm not saying it to Joe. You go say it. Why should I say it? You know, take yourself, remove yourself. You got to contain this, you know, and you don't want to be stuck in here in this cave dealing with the problem all the time. And it's not even your problem. You're missing out on life, you know. You're missing out on what you're trying to build and you're trying to enjoy here. You know, there's nothing wrong with helping, but for one thing, when directly asked, and is it my thing to do? I don't think this is even my problem. You need to talk to Joe. You know, I don't have no problems with Joe. Um, kind of thing, you know. I let other people, and like I said, we all have to learn to work things out. we got to figure out how we're going to work this out. And if you're running around working it out for them, it's not solving anything. You know, they'll just keep going on forever. They've got to learn how to work it out if they want to communicate. And it's about communicating. you got a couple of cards, you know, the drums are beating, and... Um, You know, I think you got yourself caught into it yourself and now have regrets. Like, what have I gotten myself into? I was only trying to help. And, you know, because there's that, those winds of change and causing talk and, you know, and now you got this problem down here. So let's get some clarification because here's what you want. You want peace, and it's like, hey, you guys handle your own stuff. This is like, this is like trying to tell you, mind your own business, and and you can feel this way. You know, uh, I I, I want to say too, with caution about minding your own business. There's some things we need to step into because it's just wrong, but you need to tell the person that's doing it that's wrong, not the other person. He's doing something wrong to you. You know, no, you need to say. Uh, Jack, you know, this is wrong. You, you've got to tell him. That's wrong. So that's your part in it. Not running to Joe. Anyway, I don't know why I'm going on and on about that, but you get my point, right? Uh, so, Scorpio. What do we want to clarify here? Um, you know, some of these cards are obvious to me. They don't need more clarification. You know, you, you're asking the Hierophant what to do. You're caught up in the situation. You don't, you don't want that. And you just want to be, live peacefully and just, you know, get your little spot and, um, be out of it. And now... You don't have any support, and so you, you're going to some, this is who you're going to for support and answers, and, you know, what did I do? Um, how do I fix this? How do I, 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 I just don't even, <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> I think I want clarification on this Knight of Pentacles, your new direction your new 
what you're nurturing, you know. Um, I'm wondering if this is family to do with the family business, um, family dynamics, drama. You know, you might be telling your brother what your sister or mom and sister or whatever. It's, you know, getting caught up in that stuff, you know. And you don't want to do that. So let's see, you know, where you want to be going in the Knight of Pentacles. Like, what, what, what's my new direction? What am I going to grow? Um, for Scorpio. Those ones popped out. I'm going to take them. <laughs> well, you have the Ten of Clubs, the Queen of Spades, the Seven of Clubs, and the Two of Diamonds. So I do think this has to do with family, and I think it could have to do with a family business. I'm pretty sure it's the family business in some way. Um, or they might feel like a family to you, you know, um, because, because you're close enough to be privy to all this, you know. Um, anyway... So the Ten of Clubs is um, completion, you know, contentment and completion of but what you've been, you've you've achieved, and that's what that is in the Knight of Wands, you know, achievement, rec recognition, uh, um, um, victory. Um, but it's also completion, you know, there, it's, it's done. So what will I do now? Where will I go? Where, where will this company go now? Where will this product go now? You know, whatever it is that you're doing in your achievements, creativity, you know, you've got to think of something new. How am I going to do this now? Because it's reached a level of completion of, of um, it, it's done, like the project's finished or whatever, okay? But along with that, you have the Queen of Spades and the Seven of Clubs and Two of Diamonds. Now, the Queen of Spades is a dark-eyed woman. Sometimes I think of her uh, uh, as a professional woman. She could be um, a lawyer, you know, because... Um, she's, she's a strategic thinker. She, she doesn't mind, um, uh, using the truth as a weapon. Okay. Using the truth as a weapon. And, you know, we've had this here a couple of times with these swords, right? Crossing swords. Uh, it could be the woman in this picture, but this woman has very dark eyes, um, also, yeah, using the tr using um, her truth as a sword, cutting with her truth, okay? Um, but she could be working in your favor. Like, that's okay if she's the one protecting you. It's like, you know, it, that's a good to have a good lawyer that's going to fight for you. Um, but there's also worries about some sort of um, meeting. This meeting, you're probably worrying for no reason. This meeting is about um, ambition, success. Where's the business? How how are we going to make money now? How are we going to turn this product into money? You know, where are we going to take this? And there's some sort of concern. Um, like I think this woman. Um, it, it's about the future of the product or the future of the what you're nurturing, you know. And, you know, she looks worried about if it can, if it has the potential to make money. You might be in a business meeting. You might go and have a business meeting about what your idea is what you want to nurture, what you want to grow, you know, oops, ah. um, you know, and, and you could be a little bit worried about, you know, what answers you're going to get from this, right, your, she seems pretty serious, <laughs> it's like, oh, geez, um, so, 
or she may be, um, you know, sometimes you'll go see a lawyer and say, well, what are my risks in this venture? Like, what could I stand or how do I protect myself kind of thing? Um, it could be, you know, what you're getting out of what you put in to what you were working on all this time. You're, you're thinking, you know what, I, I want to make sure I get out of it my recognition, my reward, what the work I have invested in this. Um, this could be you, Scorpio, this queen of spades. You're worried. You've put a lot of work and energy into this, and you want to make sure that you're getting your dues, you know, you're getting your dues. So, and, and it's thinking about yourself again, too, right? This, this guy is only wearing leather plates as armor. He doesn't feel the need to have to protect himself anymore. He's, he's, not, he's not that kind of a knight anymore. He's a grower, a healer, nurturer now. He's, he's, he's um, doing something different. Doing something different. Um... And I think I want to get um, clarity on the strength, you know. The strength is that part of yourself that, like I said, you're, it's the serenity. You're controlling um, the beast within, you know. You can still protect yourself without uh, turning into a tiger. You don't have to be a tiger to protect yourself. Simply say, you know. So what's the clarity on the strength for Scorpio, December 2018? December 2018, what's the clarity of the clarity Scorpio? Or, yeah, Scorpio. <gasps> oh. Two eights. Nine... I've, I've been shuffling these cards and shuffling these cards. Two eights, communication. So there could be some harsh words at work, about work, what's going on, disagreements, um, conflicts of uh, interest, like a, just conflicts. And these are verbal conflicts, you know. Here it is again. Verbal conflicts at work. I, I, I Like I said, I get the feeling like you maybe you've been at this place for a long time and it's like family or you've worked with these people for 10 years and um it's 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 are also unity right you know it, it, that flow right it's a flow and you're not feeling it you know um this here too. It's here too. I think you really want unity. You want to... <coughs> Sorry. Hey! Stop! Come here! Hey! Come here! Come here! Come on! Stop! I just don't want her to bark. Stop! Okay, come on! Come on! Over here! You okay? Oh my god! Oh my god! Um, stop. I think, I don't really think it's you that, um, you may have one time been very hostile in your words, in your negotiations, um, at, at you know, with your work, with your, what you, what you do, uh, but not anymore, you're changing that, you know, and that's what this is about, that strength card. Can you see that it's also an eight, the whole of the cave and the um, the reflection, you know, of the whole, it's an eight. It's, you want more unity. You don't want to carry your anger. You don't want to be angry. I want to enjoy something. I want something way more peaceful, you know, way more peaceful. Carmela, peace. 
<laughs> Way more peaceful. You know, this is what you're looking for. This. Where, you know, you, you can still do your work and not have to struggle with every step you take there. You're done with that. It's aging you, I think. You know, it's aging you. And <laughs> this December, January is going to be such a time for change. You know, um, also when we become stagnant, we get, we do get irritable. You know, we're not happy anymore. And unity is about not being stagnant. Like we are supposed to keep a flow, right? And so you want to keep a flow. You want to go on. You want to feel passionate again. You want an adventure. You want to grow something. But anyway, this year is a three that we're coming into, 2019. And it is about progress. It is about the wheel turning, change coming new, taking your ideas and and doing something with them, making them grow. Um, and your plans, you know, taking your plans and now actually uh, progressing forward with them. It's also the year of the boar coming up. And the boar is jovial, happier, and probably because you feel like you're going somewhere. You're not in that rut anymore. You're not in that, you know, um, feeling stuck and caught in something. And so you're happier. The things are starting to move and um, uh, progress is happening. You're you're just going to be have a happier state of mind altogether, and that's not till February, right? The Chinese New Year doesn't start until February. February. I'm not sure the exact date this year. It's different every year, but I think it's the 12th or something like that. Anyhow, um, uh, the boar is um, the year of the boar um, is. Um, uh, it's also well-being, you know, you just feel good. Um, you'll be entertaining more, socializing more. Um, you might be more generous, you know, uh, wanting to show people your affection with gifts. Be careful of that, though. You know, it's okay to do that a little bit in small gifts, but you don't want to overspend. You don't want to end up at a, in a spot at the end of the year. You know, have some foresight, see ahead. So, you know, be lavish or, or be, be generous, but um, within your um, budget, okay? Uh, the other thing is you're going to see a little bit of progress in business, like as far as, but not major success right away. It, there is progress in the next year. And also... Um, it also says warn about just believing, taking people at face value. Um, be wary of con artists or investing something or in a company that you really don't know much about. Research what you're getting yourself into, okay? Because uh, you may end up in a pickle like later on down the road because you didn't read the whole thing or... It's, you know, not, it's not doing good in the market or whatever, you know. It's just saying really um, check before you um, invest your time, money, or whatever it is. Um, so, I want to thank you for all your likes, shares, subscribes. Um, this video, or like who comes first in January, is based on how many likes I get per video. So, um, please hit the like button if you like this video. I want to say Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah to those who celebrate it in December. Um, Feliz Navidad. <laughs> and um, um, oh, if you want a personal reading, the information is in the box below. And uh, I love all your comments. Thank you so much. Thanks for all your support. And also, thanks for trusting me um, with your stories and sharing them with me. I, I love reading it. Um, if I can help or if someone's in distress, I try and comment 
well, I mean, respond. I try and open the lines of communication um, because, you know, it's been a tough couple of months uh, for everyone out there. So I do understand. Um, anyway, uh, you know, uh, take care of yourself this month, Scorpio, and I'll talk to you soon. Oops.